Hello, everyone. Hello. Welcome to Piccadilly Stamping. How are you guys? Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Has it shown anything Not to yet. you yet? Okay. Yep. It just, it's like it's, Facebook is like 30 seconds behind. 30. <laughs> it should be. Let's see. Um, maybe not. It, it shows me live on the phone. I don't know. There we go. It says there's one person. Is no. that you? No, I'm not. Hello, everyone. Oh, Hello. I got to turn that. Now it's playing. So it must be just starting somewhere. It's just starting up. Okay. <laughs> Says it's not live. Am I live, you guys? Can someone message me and say if I'm live? Just came back on. All right. Now you're on. All right. I guess I am on. So happy, happy. <laughs> uh, no, so you start greeting everyone, okay? Hello, Tater. Tater's on. Yep. That means Franklin's watching. Hi, Franklin. Hi, Jean. She says we're there. Okay, good. They're there. Oops, I think I just liked myself. Yeah. That is. Did, are you? So you're on now? Yeah, you see with the thumbs up going up. Okay. Those are me. Those are you. Thank you yeah, so much. Yeah, hearts are Somebody else is hard. Okay, I don't know who it is, but thank you. <laughs> so guess what? It now it stopped again, or did it stop for you? No, it's going. Okay. So welcome, welcome, welcome. And there we go. We're gonna shake it up again tonight. I'm trying new things. So I get tired of doing the same thing every week. So we're not gonna do that. So I just wanna talk about celebration. So if you don't know about celebration, it is in full swing right now. We're about halfway through. It is the biggest Stampin' Up! sale of the year. And we're going on to a second release. But before we get there, I want to tell you about a coordination product release. So we had these in the new catalog, this Positive Thoughts. They have now released a die set called Nature's, Th Nature's Thoughts Dies to go coordinate with it. And I didn't know if that was explained or not from my emails that I sent out. They have special someone and now they have dies that go with it. So I just got these. I haven't had a chance to use the dies. Um, for the ladybug stamp set that you can get if you're a host, they now have coordinating dies for it. I do not have the dies to show you. Um, sending uh, you thoughts, they now have. This one is pretty cool and I'm going to have to show you. So it's this really neat die. You can use the sentiments in here, but it has, and I'm gonna show you on this paper. Is this my, the coolest thing? Look at that die. Love, 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 love. Looks pretty cool. It does look pretty cool. So they have that for the coordination. The birthday stamp set, which our paper pumpkin this last month coordinates with, they now have a die. So the happy birthday to you, they have a die that coordinates with that. So, and then they have um, a 12 by 12 designer series paper that coordinates with all the punches. I do not have that, so I can't show you. However, because this catalog is, oh no, I can't because it's in, I don't have I don't have it to show you and it's not in the celebration because it's not a freebie. None of this is freebie, it's just coordinating. So I, <laughs> more bill. <laughs> whatever. Oh, whatever. Always having to compete with him. Yeah. So if you don't know about celebrations, here's a quick rundown. There is something for everybody in celebrations. So for customers, every fifty dollars you purchase, you get a gift from Stampin' Up. For hosts, and if you want to host a uh, Facebook party, you can. But for hosts, there is that, where's that bumblebee? This. The bumblebee. Ooh. If you have a qualifying party of $300, they give you this free on top of everything else that you get for being a host. If you want to sign up, 
you're going to get some freebies. Um, there's a free little paper cutter. There's a six by six paper and a stamp set of your choice. So you can pick a stamp set and um, get that for free. On top of, they're going to give you this great discount. discount. So for $99 signing up, you get $125 worth of product of your choice, which is awesome. And for demonstrators who are already signed up, we get rewards too. So the company just goes all out during celebrations. So I plan to just show you briefly here. I can't open this catalog, but I can show you what I have from this catalog. So they are releasing March 3rd, another celebration offer. So since I can't open it up and I don't have everything, but I can show you the front and I have everything on the front, so we'll show you. There's another free uh, stamp set. I made the cutest card with this. I cannot wait to show you guys. Um, this matches from the, I think it was the, the punch from the Layered with Kindness. This matches that for, there's two punches and I think it was the lovely label. I can't think of what they are right at the moment. Yeah. Um, let me grab it. It's the Label Me Lovely and the Label Me Fancy. So this will work for that. It, it coordinates with that. But this you can earn for free through Celebration. So Bill, I'm going to have you put these right in that thing this right one's there. right here? Mm -hmm. All right. I can do that. And then this stuff is luxurious. I've actually used a little bit of this already. So mm. you get some embossed vellum. They have it in this pool party color. This looks like a purple posy color. And then I'm going to say like a pear pizzazz color. So, um, what color is the pear pizzazz? The, purple? the green. The green. Yeah, the green. So, um, they've got that that you can earn for free. And then I save what is my absolute favorite. I don't know what my deal is with metallics, Bill. Oh, wow. Shiny. <laughs> so this Turtle. is Precious. it is. This is rose gold and silver. It is not double sided though. I do want you to know this, oh. but you can color on it and you get I think a couple sheets of that, a couple sheets, I think they're it's three each or four. Yeah, they're all single sided though. I did want to let you know. Isn't this pretty though? This rose it gold. Is. It's awesome. Look at this one. Ooh. And there's one more print right here in the silver. Oh, wow. And they're so gorgeous. I have not cut into it. I need to, but sometimes you just like paper. Like, I just like pretty paper, and it's really hard to do that. It's pretty paper. But I need to share with everyone. So I just wanted to show you, because I think sometimes that gets confusing, about the coordination and then the second release from Celebration. So if you're one of my customers and you would like one of these, let me know, one of these brochures. And if you're not one of my customers and you'd like uh, to be one of my customers and you don't have a demonstrator, you can always... Um, leave me a message with your address and I'll send that out to you. I got a few cards from some of my friends and some of them were Valentine's Day. So let me just sh start with this. This is from my friend Joy. Is Joy on? Have you I seen her? I haven't seen her yet. But did you tag her? I didn't tag her. Oh. I well, you did. <laughs> no, I didn't tag her. Um, she sent me this little lovely. Isn't that cute? I just love, I just love Joy. We have a a goofy little friendship, don't we? Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, a friend of mine that is um, a stamping demonstrator, she sent me this. It's, look at this. Is that not adorbs? I love it. That's, France, I'm so going to steal that. We're, I'm going to be making a card like that, I think. And then I got this one, I believe, was from Beth Ann. Is Beth Ann on? I think I saw her. Beth Ann, thank you. I got your little note. March is on. And thank you so much. And then I recently had my anniversary, and we don't buy cards in this household. Bill made me a card for my anniversary, and I tell him to just pick any stamp set and go for it. So 
here's my card from Bill. I won't open it up because that's private, but he made me two. <laughs> this crazy chicken card is is awesome. <laughs> I, don't I thought it was. Yeah. I he's... saw that stamp and I said, Good job, Bill. You guys give him a round of applause because he took the time to make me a card. There you go, Bill. Ooh, all kinds of hearts. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> I do want to talk really quick. Today, um, yesterday I got my Paper Pumpkin, and today I got a chance to play with it. Paper Pumpkin is a subscription program that comes in a box like this each month. And look at these cards. Now, they're, this has a neat little clasp. It's so pretty with that rose gold that they've got popped up. So there was three of these cards, three of these. I didn't follow the directions very well. I got my sentiments mixed up, but they're still gorgeous. Oh, so um, they might be mixed up to the directions, but you're. Uh, they have the matching envelopes with beautiful um, lining in them. And then, you know, you're always left over with the stamp set. This is the stamp set. So I took it and I made my own birthday card and I added a little bit of uh, Wink of Stella for a little bling. All right. Oh, I forgot that on the cards. Wink of Stella. <laughs> so when they send you your kit, they always send a flyer for the next month. So next month, you have until what day, Bill? The 10th. The 10th, right, to sign up. But they're going to give you an extra three free stamp set in next month. It's going to be something box is going to have someone in coat. So I think it's going to be maybe spring flower, April shower, April spring shower. flower, something like yeah. that. March so winds, April showers, May flowers, if you want to get in to get this beautiful um, set, and then like I said, you get to keep um, the stamp sets. I have a few of them sitting here because last I thought was really good with all the different words on it. So I just keep them sitting here. This one went with that birthday kit. Um, celebration items so I was so glad to get in on that can I give you that to sit sure over there can. okay so I listened to you guys we've got three projects that's why there's so many stamps so we're just gonna start with pulling stuff out and I'm gonna tell you they're all in the same basket this time okay. yeah okay. I just have them in three different project boxes but or three different Okay, I'm going to give this to you. You know what to do. I do, I do. So I had a couple requests come in. One of them was um, someone wanted to know, what do you do with large sentiments? So I've got some stamp sets with some large sentiments, and we're going to be using each one of these. This is the Bloom and Grow, and we're going to use the You Are Simply Wonderful, but it's not that size. I mean, it's a lot bigger. It's, you know, the size of the palm of my hand. Um this one does come with a die set that you can get at it with a 10% discount when they're purchased together. But if not, that's okay. If you have this, you, there's many of wonderful things that you can do with this. So we're going to be using the first card. Um, this is seriously the best, and we're going to be using thanks in the large, and then you're seriously the best on the bottom. This actually comes with a box set of cards. And then... Uh, friends like you, and we're going to be using this one for kind of the finale card because this one is awesome. Day that is going to be the large sentiment, but we're going to be using a lot of the little things to do a silhouette card. So, Ooh, here we go. okay, I might need, I might need that um, again. Need what? I might need to remember the names of them, so I might be asking okay. you what name was this if someone asks. Okay, no problem. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but. I keep um, my pattern masks that you can get through Stampin' Up. Tonight I'm going to be using the Pattern Party Decorative Masks and my um, painter's tape or artist tape and my brushes and stuff. So in here, and I'm going to use my blue-green uh, brush. These you can get at Walmart for 
fairly cheap. Amazon is where I got these. I want to say it was $16 for four of the big ones. And I, I label them into family. So blues and greens in one, yellow and orange in another, purples and reds in another. You get the whole thing. Yeah, and we're going to be using some... It might be a little close because you're a little dispixel. Am I? Okay. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. I'll calm down. I get excitable. No, no. So let's start here with getting our project pack. I'm going to slow it down, you guys. He always has to remind me. Also, if you haven't done so, share my video, please. Oh, they've been sharing that. Great. Sharing the love all over the world. <laughs> Thank you. That's how you get into my drawing. And I do have a brand new host code uh, for this month. So W99U2MHP. It doesn't win you any YouTube tickets. That's just... <laughs> <laughs> Bono here. Okay, so, um, so the other thing what I was talking about is some. Um, I'm trying to incorporate three requests from people into one video. That's why tonight sentiment stamps, um, masking, and um, um, silhouettes. Okay. So I'm just taking a, a card base and I'm folding it in half. This is Whisper White. I'm using um, a card base. These are all going to have the same layout. I'm just going to do, I'm going to make them all appear different. So three and three quarters by five. So that will be the center to every one of the cards I'm making. And then it's got a one eighth. So three and seven eighths by wait I did that wrong yeah three and seven eighths by five and an eighth for all the mats okay all right let's get started so I am going to take this tape we're going to use two of these. So for this one, I'm just going to use this little star one, but for the next one, I'll be using that. So I'm going to pull that out. Um, you can do this. I like to do a little bit of painter's tape. And I don't like it to... Is Kristen Tatum on? Yes, she is. Okay. I'm not going to say what I said about don't like it to be too tacky I want it to be very low so I just rub it on my skin and then it holds this in place without uh, tearing the paper just putting it on your skin like that the oils from your skin and actually you are. You're in. am I in camera mm -hmm. okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna tack that down I did this different and then I'm gonna put this I'm trying not to giggle because I'm thinking about Kristen right at the moment. Mm. Because last time I made a a boo boo. <laughs> so I'm going to take um, the Granny Apple Green, and I'm just going to rub my uh, brush into it, and I'm going to rub off just a little bit. So the bottom of my paper's here, and I'm gonna just start. The reason why I don't use the sponge daubers on this, let me pull one out. The sponge daubers are sponge, and if you dab it, it's one thing, but when you run this across, you tend to tear them up. So that's why I'm using these, because these are not something that we sell, although I'm making recommendations that we do. So I'm gonna come across here with that, and then these clean off fairly easy. And I'm going to take the Bermuda Bay, and I'm going to blend right on top of that little bit that I did, going right over where I was at. So let me pull this up so you guys can see. I've got it hooked down on the other side. So you can see it. I've blended right into that. So I've got the green, and I'm blending right into it. Lay that right down. You can do as much or as little as you want. I wanted that to be a little bit darker. Then I'm gonna go back in with the green. 
each one of these that you do is gonna be a little bit different. You're never gonna get the same thing twice, and I love the uniqueness on that. Now this one, I'm gonna go right back over where I, but I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna fill this whole space up. You can keep checking and seeing, and I like that. So it's gonna fade out a little here, and I'm done, I think. I am done. Now these just really quick in um, the sink, or you can even use your um, chamois. Just leave that there for me. Okay. Pretty easy, right? One of the comments was uh, the brushes give such a smooth look. They do, but we are gonna be using sponges later tonight for a whole different look, so it's different. So. I want you to notice that I didn't go the whole card. I've just kind of stopped. I've let it fade. So it's just the bright colors kind of here and the rest just kind of disperses. I did that on purpose. So we're going to <coughs> take our matting piece and glue that down. That's the effect that I wanted. You don't have to do every little bit of the surface. I wanted it to have that fade. And is it not working, Bill? No, it just keeps freezing up. I think it's the internet tonight because everybody's having problems. Oh no. Are you guys having problems? We got we got a cold snap coming, I wonder. No, it's not us. It's I think it's the internet. Okay. So now that I have that, I'm going to take this, I want to look here at what it's going to look like on the base, okay? And I want to visualize, because I'm going to just put kind of a band going across here, just like that. And I want to lay that down first before I do my sentiment, just because... That way I can kind of get a view of where I'm going to put that sentiment. So I'm going to pull this right down over where I was at. Awesome. And stick that on. Now I'm using the sentiment, I think it was from the, the, the Bloom and Grow or Grow and Bloom or Bloom and Grow. Bloom and Grow. Okay. Which one are you using? You are simply wonderful. I am. So I'm going to ink this up. Now, you can put this wherever you want to. I'm going to just kind of put mine right in the center. Give that ink just a moment to transfer. There we go. Beautiful. So far, I'm going to hand you so that. So far, so good. It's just ink, stamps, and paper. But let's do, oh, let's do a little blinger here. Let's add some... I'm going to just cut this off because I got to put a knot. Is that what you're saying? In the bow. Put the bow on there. <laughs> going to do a little bow. Make sure my hands are in camera always. Okay. You're doing real okay. well. Okay. Sometimes I get going and I see it, so I think everybody else should too. Oh, just going to work on that. I hear our dog is snoring, isn't she? Yeah, is he snoring? She's chasing a, a squirrel yeah. in her sleep. Okay, so I'm going to just put a little bow on here. And then... Can you guys hear her on camera? It's okay. Yeah, okay. Says this is one of her favorite sets. Isn't it just beautiful? Mm -hmm. And uh... give that a minute to adhere, and then I'm going to take some, just a little bit of bling. Let's see. Let's do. 
I can hear her. I think she's chasing a squirrel in her sleep or something. <laughs> Maybe we'll do the big one. No, we'll do the big one here. We'll do another small one right down here. Okay, so it's just a simple, this is a case card, or not a case, a, a CAS. It is keep, um, and I think it looks absolutely beautiful. Now let's do the same layout again. And let's do the same type of technique, and then let's just change it up by using a different mask. So this one, I love the champagne. I don't know if they're still, are they still on back order? Does anybody know? What is What, what was the question? If the champagne um, jewels. jewels are on back order? I don't know. They were. I hope they're. I know they had a. Beth Ann says she can't hear her, so. She can't hear? Hear her. Oh, you can't hear Izzy? Okay. So same sizes, same dimensions. I've made the back. I'm just going to secure this down with tape. This time I'm gonna use this kind of medallion looking, but I'm not gonna do, I'm gonna put it about, on the, half, you know, some of the cards showing. It's just. Hi Tara. Hi Tara. I just want to say this, just because I love embarrassing you military people. Thank you for your service, Tara. Tara just got done serving a term for us, so. A tour, right? A tour, yeah. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do Daffodil Delight on this one and Melon Mambo. And the reason why I'm gonna do this is because Daffodil and mem Melon Mambo will mix and create kind of an orange, almost a mango melody. So let's start with the lightest color. And I just check and make sure that it's cleaned out. And this is actually my red. I need my yellow orange. Oh, you your ones? Nope. I just oh, you brush. I do them in in so that the the colors. Oh, so they don't bleed. I think I got a set of four of these for sixteen dollars off of Amazon. I'm not selling for them or anything like that, but just in case anyone wants to know. Okay, so I'm going to start here, right, kind of in the center of the medallion. Okay, that's good. And then I'm going to switch gears and I'm going to go into the Melon Mambo. And I'm just going to kind of go right around this edge here without getting on your fingers. Well, I kind of did. Uh oh. But I'm going to go right into that Daffodil Delight. I'm just scooching up the seat. You can scooch, honey. You scooch. So you can see how it's overlaying there? Yeah. Doing circular motions. You can go as, as, as light or as dark as you want. Now, see, some of it came up in here where I'm going to do the, um, the daffodil again. And that's okay. I just want to get this little flower here. A little darker. You see how it's building? And let's go back. Now I've got kind of a yellow and orange to the pink. Now I'm gonna go orange to yellow again. So go right back over where we were. See that? Look at how dark that got. Oh wow. In front of the colors mixing and blending. Now I gotta be careful not to go over on my piece that I want to keep white still, so I'm gonna actually come in here and do this. Put a blocker in. Yeah. I'm, yep. Couldn't you just put a strip of tape on it? I could have. Yep. I didn't do that. Aren't you the smart one, huh? Yeah. That's 
why I pay you the big bucks. Why don't you tell them what your job is for Piccadilly Stampin'? I'm, I'm a production manager. <laughs> Say it, Lift Pride. I'm the production manager. <laughs> and so what does that mean, production manager? I don't know. <laughs> I, I come here on Wednesday nights and help you. No, that's not what it means. He keeps me in line. That's right. I, I get to put away all I, the stamps. Like, when have you ever put away a stamp? I put it in that basket. You did put it in the basket, I guess so. Okay. So I think That's this me is... putting them away. I don't put them away. No, you... You would never find them. Okay, so let me pull this up. Ta-da! Isn't it gorgeous? That is. That's pretty. Which... Let me get that out of the way. Okay. So, now we've got this. And let's... They say I'm good at my job. You are good at your job. He's so supportive, you guys. I am very, very lucky to have such a supportive husband. He builds me shelves when I need more shelves. <laughs> Fran says I'm only here for the Scooby Snacks. Honestly, I haven't eaten last week yet. That's last week's Scooby Snacks, by the way. He didn't <laughs> eat them. So, I just set them off to the side and forgot about them. Yep. Well, what do you do to earn Scooby Snacks? We're going to talk about the host code. Make sure people share. That's right. You got a job. That's right. Because word of mouth is the only way I get any business here. Now, while I've got this, I'm going to take the Memento ink and I'm going to ink up my thanks. And one of the things that I suggest is always testing so you know if you've got it straight or not, which I do. Oh, wow. Okay, so it's a big bold, you know. Now, I could have this go whatever way I want. I'm going to leave it the same direction because the next card will do the other way. But the next card, we're not going to do these masks. So I'm going to come right up in here. Extra check. And stamp it on. Thanks. Put your, put your stamp away if you want to earn your Scooby That's Snacks. That's right. I'm putting my stamp away. Okay. So, and then you're seriously the best. Maybe I could give you this card. Mm. Let me check it. Make sure I've got it straight on the block and not upside down. Who would have done that recently? I don't know. <laughs> I didn't put it on the card upside down. Well, no, you didn't. I When I stamped off, it was upside down, so I had to... Reverse it. You're seriously the best. Isn't that awesome? Mm -hmm. Okay, now, if you want to. Another one? Yeah, another yeah. one. Let's mat this, and then let's do a different kind of an embellishment this time. These cards are clean and simple, even though your fingers kind of get inky. They're sweet, they're fun. I love the contrast of black and white with a pop of color. You guys have probably heard me say that before. Let me move this out of the way. Okay. Well, let's do something else. Can you hand, uh, unless, I, unless I had it in there. I didn't see it in the project box. I need a piece of, nope, right back here, Melon Mambo. Oh, yeah. Yep, just a little piece here. So one of the things in celebration, here's my scrap melon mambo. I use my melon mambo quite regularly. They have this small bloom punch. This is one of the things that you can earn for free. So let's just take that out. And how will you earn that for free? If you purchase a hundred dollars worth of product, you can pick this as one of your free items. Awesome. Okay, now will you get me a piece of mango melody? Do you see it? It's it's back on the oranges. Yep, got it. Okay. So this is my little. Yes, we'll just use a scrap piece. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to make a center for my um, flower. So I just used this. Um, I can't remember what this one's called, and I don't have it labeled. It's the one with the little stars. It's the star one. The twinkle, twinkle little star, I think. Yeah, <laughs> Something like that. 
Hi. <laughs> what What are they wanting to know? Something to say hi to the camera. Oh. You guys give him such a big head. He thinks he is a rock star. So I'm just going to use this because I can't find my stamping pad. But I have a... Stamping pad. Yeah. Oh, it's right here. I found it. So I like to take the um, stamp and pierce mat and <laughs> got some laughs, smiley faces. To you see your, do you have, do you have your, and punch it in with the back side of my paper piercer. That's just me. I just, I like to do it so that it has a little texture. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the green glue. I was trying to look for a center that I really liked. I think I used the small, too small of a star. I should have used the bigger star. It's okay. Life's good. It works. It works. We'll just use a smaller... Smaller jewel? Jewel, yeah. This is the champagne. Are there any comments? Um, people are wanting to buy that punch. Ah, uh, you can't buy it. You gotta... Gotta earn it. Yeah, that's one of the things. Is, so, we can we can decorate like this. There's so many different ways, you guys. So, now we have two cards. They have the exact same layout, okay? And they're just done with, with that masking with those things. Those masks, by the way, you get four of them in a set, and they're like six bucks. They're totally worth it. Here's another thing that you can do for masking. Like, here's one with clouds. And there's like a brick wall one. You can also fill the Stampin' Spritzer and put a little ink in there and spritz it. And you get really mm -hmm. wonderfully looking clouds. I did that one time on my little piggy one. Okay, now for the grand finale. These are pretty easy. Let's get for, let's get a step it up a notch. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it's the same measurements. This time I've got a piece of pool party as my background. And we're gonna be using sponges because um, there's a different look out of sponges. Now see, I've had mine for years. This one used to be the Certainly Celery and then it was Pistachio Pudding. It's still in the green family. I just quit marking them anymore. Do, who remembers Baja Breeze? I was in love with Baja Breeze. Is that a blue? It was kind of a blue green mm. and I miss it. So not in color anymore, huh? it's not an in color anymore, but it's okay because you know, as times change, we need to too, right? That's right. Okay. So this one, I'm going to turn the card this way. And instead of using one of our little decorative masks that I've been using, which by the way, Bill, I'm going to give you this. You can put that over there. I'm going to take that scrap piece of paper that I had here and I'm going to show you First of all, let's just take a little piece of snail and I'm going to make it low tack. Low tack. Low tack. I'm just wondering if Kristen's smiling right now. So, <clears throat> and we're just going to we're just gonna rip this paper, this little, this is just a sheet of, you want something kind of, It's this is not Whisper White, this is like computer paper. And so we're just gonna rip it, and maybe I ripped that wrong. Let's see if it's gonna work. No, for some reason that was too thin. Let's try it again. Okay, what is going on with my ripping skills today? I don't know. Okay. Well, it must be this paper. Give me the other paper that I had before. <laughs> what other paper was that? I had that scratch paper. Right? Is this it? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it's ripped right here. Yeah, but I don't want that one. Okay. I want a fresh one. It must be the paper. <sighs> okay, this is just scrap paper. There we go. I'm getting a little bit more of a... Kind of a curviness to it. So let's take this 
And let me put this down at the bottom. The reason why, what happened to those masks or those? Which masks? You got them over here. Oh, hand those to me, would you? I, don't, I just want this. Well, there's one on your shirt. There's one on my shirt. <laughs> right on the sleeve. Okay, you guys. So I want this because I'm going to have a sentiment down at the bottom. So I'm going to just put the these back down. Oh, I hit come in on tearing the paper. Put that away from you. Not towards you. Oh, really? Okay. That comes from Donna. I did not know that. Well, thank you. And I feel like I've got a hump in this one. I want it to be... Oh, rip it away from me? So start at the bottom and go up. That didn't work. That didn't work for me? <laughs> there we go. That's, uh -huh. that's a little bit different. I'll do that. So I want to have a different pattern in that. You were right. I have these things stuck all over me. That's right. You have them on your sleeves. You have them on your... Well... On the mask themselves. I'm not a professional uh, videography. Yeah. I'm just a Stampin' Up! demonstrator trying to show what I know. Yeah. Just remember okay. to use that host code, people. Yeah, here you go. Thank you. Get out of my way. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to use Pear Pizzazz Highland Heather for my color and Pool Party. This is the colors I've picked, okay? And I've got this down because I'm masking this part off so that I can get a nice effect. And I'm going to start with the... Um, pear pizzazz. That's insane. I know. Just added. So when you get it on a sponge, now a sponge gives a different texture to it. It's it's a little more grainy. It's not as smooth as those brushes, and you can use it for a lot of different things. I want this to be a little bit more grainy, but I always start off by just rubbing a little bit of it off so that I don't get a dark. You want to start off the page and then go up. And I'm just following this down here at the bottom. Well, that's kind of cool. Right. So, it's yeah. so how much pressure do you put on it? Well, the more pressure, the more color. So I have more color in this section. And I want it, I want it to be the, I get kind of a smooth look with the brushes. With this, you get kind of a rougher texture. Try to work in circles if you can. It does help smooth it out a little bit and blend it in. But it's okay that I've got differences in color. So I'm gonna leave that one. I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna come from the top this time and I'm gonna use the Highland Heather. At the top. And this is not as smooth but I want it to have a lot of texture. And so I've got this side darker. And this side lighter. And right now I'm just focusing on the edge. Again, just like I said before, each card is going to come out different. A little darker right in there. Then I'm going to come with my pool party, and I actually think I need just a little bit more. 
green on this edge. I'm going to go up just a little higher on that edge and then come down. So as you move, if you stop, you're going to get this rim around here. And that's kind of why you do circles and keep trying to move in circles, is to kind of help that so you don't have as many of those to smooth. Now, on the pool party, get some good color on here. I'm going to come back and I'm going to work off of the paper again. And I'm going to go right in between. Any color combination you want together. So these can be so custom customizable. Is that the word I'm looking for? Yeah, customized. Yeah. Now sometimes, depending on how heavy of a hand I am, I will trim these edges, but for tonight and tonight's show, I'm not going to do that. But it just depends if you don't want that look on the edge from when you come out off on it. So can you guys start to see the colors are blending into one another? But they're definitely... They definitely have a more of a blotchy feel to it. What I like about um, these blends, uh, these um, sponge daubers, is that they're $5 for them, so it's very affordable. I like that. And I think I got this. I suppose I should check before I put all these away. Yeah, am I liking that? Let's see. Yes, I am. Okay. So let me pull this off so you can see the effect that this has now given my card. Oh, wow. You like that? Yeah. Kind of even almost has like a sunset effect, right? So I'm going to pull this up just so you can see it. But you can see it's a lot more blotchy, kind of watercolory almost. Mm -hmm. Okay, setting this back down. I don't need those. They go in the blue one on top. Now... The first thing I'm going to do is I want to visualize kind of what I think I want my design to be. So that stamp set, will you hand me that one right on top? A friend like you? A friend like you is definitely a silhouette stamp set. doesn't have to be, but it, it definitely can be used that way. I've seen it, there's flowers and stuff that goes with this, but I'm going to use it as a silhouette. So I'm just going to stamp it. You could do, um, you wouldn't have to do black. I am going to do black, but you wouldn't have to. So I know that this image is going to be the largest image. And I actually already want to bring this bottom piece back in because I'm going to still mask this off. So oh, okay. I'm going to so keep the bottom piece, it. yeah, masked off. So this, when you put the flowers on top, gets very, very large because it has it's a two set. So I know where I want to be about. And I'm going to take this and uh, let's see, this high part, I'm going to go like that. So then if I come back with the flowers, which I'm just going to silhouette, I know that it's going to go like that. So this is stamping over where I did, but this is going to be not there. Get it? Any questions? No, not yet. They're okay. loving the card. They're okay. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes you think you know how to explain things and then you don't really know if you explained it right. So I'm going to ink that stamp up again and I'm going to just do a little, little bit going right there, not much. And then a little bit higher on this side. I'm going to come in with this one, which is kind of like a cattail. And I'm going to put that there. And then back with this one. Are you guys liking this? Are you? Oh, they love it. They think it's really neat. Okay. It really does give kind of a different effect. Now I'm going to stamp right up off of this again 
for the top of that. And I'm gonna, let me see what I, you kinda have to stop and look at what you're doing. And I'm gonna do it off this one. It's just such a fun technique to do silhouettes, I think. But it's. Um, what set was that again? That was the. It, you have it, right? Friend Like You. Say it loud. It's a Friend Like You set. Friend Like You stamp set. It is so much fun. I've actually made um, internet friends from this stamp set because they thought they, it was just pretty cool. So I think maybe I'm gonna go ahead and do one more. I wasn't going to, but let me look at this again. I think I And then there's some uh, beautiful little dragonflies. Let's add a couple of those. Now they can live outside of this horizon. They can be inside of it. It just depends on what you want. I'm gonna have half and half. Okay, so let's pull this off. I have made now blending that, and I love the differences in the background with this that would, um, I think it adds to the dimension, or I'm gonna stand up and see if I can, if you guys can see this. On the um, background, like maybe this was a mountain, maybe this is the grant, you know, trees here, this is the, the close-up ground. So that's why I, I wanted to do that kind of um, with the, with the, oh my gosh, words are so hard. With the, shading, no, instead of the stamping, what are they called, blending sponges, I wanted to do it with the sponges instead of with the brushes. Oh my gosh. Take a breath, Pamela. So let's take this. Oh, wait, one more thing left to do. Now, again, keeping with the whole theme of the large sentiments, I'm going to go ahead and stamp. Happy day on there. So again, this is going with me. I love the black and white with a pop of color. And this is still just the same simple um, layout that I had. I'm so I'm gonna take that and put a pop of black behind it to really make that zip, zip, zip. Oh wow! Oh, then you're putting on that. And then I'm going to put it on, instead of a white background that I did with the last one, I, I'm going to put it on a colored background because it just pops, I think. And I did the, the lightest color thinking that it wouldn't take away from the, the shading. So what are people saying? No, 80 people watching. Wow. <laughs> what are they saying? Well, they love it. Very pretty. They love the shadows. It adds shadows. Mm-hmm. Um, awesome. I think so, too. Now... You could bling this up if you wanted to, but the more you're going to put across, if you put like like um, the Baker's Twine like I used before or little flowers, the less you're going to notice this background. And I think it looks like just a page was torn and you can see this beautiful scene popping up. So I'm not going to put any blingers on it. Now let me pull out the other two cards. Do you think someone would want to win this card tonight? Oh, probably. <gasps> okay, I'm gonna move this. Hold on, I'm not done yet. You so you guys. Best card ever from France. <laughs> well, thank you, France. So you guys, here they are. It's the same layout. I. It's just one matting there. It's the same layout. This has just a little bit of something. You don't need a whole lot. Ink, stamp, and paper, really, this is what this card is. This is a SIP card. Um, it is not difficult to just create thousands of looks from those masks and from ripped paper. And so this uh, is three different stamp sets with large 
um, fonts that people were wanting to know about. What do you do with large ones? It is blending. That was another thing that came up that you guys had sent me. And I love the fact that you're sending me ideas of what you want to know. Um, and then um, also some masking with just the paper. So I want to tell you guys a couple of things before we go to the drawing. For those of you who ordered and got the extra of the Poppy Suite, um, I certainly appreciate that and I sent the extra present along. But I'm going to go ahead and continue to offer at least the PDF to anybody else who wants to buy the Poppy Suite. It is a $25 value. That would be free to you. I'll just email it to you. It'll give pictures and instructions and what products I used. So if you are still interested in the Poppy Suite, you can still get the PDF for it. Appreciate that very much. Um, Piccadilly Perks, you guys, that is my rewards program. So for every $35 purchase that you make, when you get to 10, I um, give you a free shopping spree on me, which is $25 free shopping of whatever you want from my store. And I'm going to pay the tax and the shipping for you. So it's about a $35 value. So it's like a punch card. Buy 10, get one free. Um, also, this is the time to join my team, and I really would love to have a few more stampers join us. A few more Not pearls. yes, a few more pearls. My team's the Piccadilly Pearls, is what he's saying. Um, not only do you get this great um, um, introductory offer with your kit that you get to choose what is in your kit, but you get me, you get coaching, you get what else? You get Bill. <laughs> And you also get a discount on every single one of your purchases. So that's awesome. And I also have a So Sentimental card kit to go. Um, I have changed this. Now, if you buy the So Sentimental, do I have that here? Bundle, you save 10%. This is the bundle. So you get dies and the stamp set. I will give you the PDF for free. So those are my specials for tonight. Should we get going for the drawing? You bet. Uh, if you're making a purchase under $150 tonight from my store, please use this host code. And Bill, you got the tickets? All right. Let go. Oh, oh. Yeah. Okay. All right. For the cards? Yes, for the cards. Beth Ann! <gasps> Beth Ann! And you won the cards. All right, Beth Ann. So I will get those out to you. By the way, were you here at the beginning when I showed everybody the beautiful card that you sent me? No, she came in a little bit later. Okay, this was Beth Ann's card. So beautiful. I love birds. Thank you so much, Beth Ann. I just wanted you to know. And so I will be getting these out to you. I actually have your address, so that's not a drawing. problem. Oh, okay. Here we go. Um, Brenda, I'm not going to try to pronounce that. Uh, Brenda Sarkin, Sarkinen, Sarkinen, yeah. is that what you, yeah, I'm sorry, Brenda, if I didn't say your name right, you have won one of my desk calendars to do something creative every day. So, um, I will need you to give me your address so that I can send that to you. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed tonight and learned something. I hope I answered your questions. One more plea out there. I do have next week's show lined up, but after that, I'm still looking for more ideas. Um, next week is not going to be cards. Should I show them or should I surprise them? Surprise them. Oh, he says I have to surprise. But it's a big project, and it's really fun and really cute. And if you have anybody that you need a nice little gift for, it's a great way, and it's very economical. So, all right, you guys, have a great evening, and I will catch you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.